Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be telling you about a good tip to use with a soft jerk bait. Now I first learned about this way back in 95. In 1995 I actually came up with the original concept of Center Coast Bass and at the time a bass pro friend of mine, Mark Heinsohn, was going to be the host. And one day he took me down to Kachuma Lake, I think it was uh, February 1st, and we shot a little promo video. And I actually have a little clip from that show of Mark Heinsohn as the original host of Center Coast Bass. So check it out. Anything different? Anything different? A bigger log or a little stick hanging off the log? The fish will really hold on. Now in that video you can see that Mark's fishing next to a log boom. Well that's what this tip is about. In the middle of winter, after a few bright sunny days, bass like to come up and suspend other things that are floating in the water. Now it could be a log boom like in that video, or a five mile an hour buoy, or one of the bigger buoys with the light on it, or a floating urinal. Anything that's actually physically floating in the water. And you don't really have to worry about the depth underneath. I mean, I, th I think in that video we were over about 80, 100 feet of water, but the bass were still there. Now, one of the reasons they do this is because with that warm weather, the surface water is warmed up a little bit, so they're up there to be in a little bit warmer water. And secondly, they're looking for dying off bait fish. Uh, winter's a very hard time on a lot of bait fish. Uh, they struggle with the stresses of winter, the lack of food, and they end up dying off. And a lot of them spend their last weaning hours just kind of wandering around in the surface, and just under the surface, on top of the water. So. That's actually what those bass are up there looking for, an easy meal of a dying off bait fish. And that's exactly what a soft jerk bait represents. It goes along the water like a little struggling dying bait fish. And here I actually have a, a little footage of Mark explaining a little bit more about a soft jerk bait. You can see how it just looks like a natural little minnow about to die off, a little minnow or shad or bluegill or whatever you're trying to imitate, crawdad. At times we'll go through the different colors imitating different bait fish and from shad to sculpin bluegill, smelt. So give it a try. Uh, middle of winter after a few bright sunny days. Look for anything floating in the water and work a soft jerk bait around the edges of it and probably end up catching yourself some nice fish. Mark ended up catching a limit that day, and it was, like I said, I think 52 degree water, but it works. It's a natural presentation. It's Im imitating those dying off bait fish, so give it a try. I hope it helps. Until next time. Now I'm going to give it a try in my local pond. I'm just going to back away from this log room a little bit, make sure no one's looking when I boat this fish. This isn't a very big fish here. Kind of hide it from... These guys over here on the dock. Try to hide it from these guys on the dock. Yeah, one on film's enough. A little pound and a half, pound, pound and a half fish. Let's we'll see if there's another one underneath that. I saw him dart out after that and hesitated a second. That's the biggest thing on sluggo fish or sluggo fishing or fishing where you can see see the fish is having the patience enough to wait.